I'm trying to go out for a drive right now, but we have a problem and I need to show you guys this. Let me show you. Look at this. I cannot believe this is real. What? How am I supposed to? I'm confused. We got one other issue. Hold on, let me try to fix it. Hey Siri, turn on my brake lights. Sorry, I can't operate the lights in your car. Well, it looks like Siri left us on our own here to fix these uh, indicator lights. We gotta fix the horn. We gotta put some tail lights on this thing. We gotta get the inside of this all fixed up. So let's get started. On my horn here, it's not getting enough power, so it's not really getting enough to make it actually make a sound. You can hear the filament kind of opening up in there. So I just took off the button here on the steering wheel. I had to like push it in and twist it left. And I unplugged the battery because it started going off really loud. So I think that I might need to take this part apart. And then also I'm gonna cut the cord here and put in a new wire and snake it down through because where it comes out of the bottom here, you can see it's all, maybe you can't see, you can see a little bit, it's all frayed up there. So I'm gonna put in a new wire for that. When I was trying to snake it through the very bottom there, the hole's super small, so the two ripped apart. So I have to make it more low profile, but you can see here's the old wire and it was super frayed. That was probably why it was like short circuiting and stuff. So I ran a piece of like bailing wire through here and I'm gonna try snaking it through again. Hey. There we go. Got it through. I'm also going to take this horn button apart a little bit just to see if there's any corrosion that's going to prevent a good ground. So there's a little ring here. Yeah, see? It's all wired up. It should not go off. I put this on. Good sign. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Yes. That is so loud. Hell yeah. Now that we have a working horn, next thing is the turn signal here. So I got the covers off and I put in new bulbs, I think on both of these now. And I already wired them to the switch, but what we have to do is wire the switch up with the flasher. This is what the flasher looks like. It's basically just a device that makes the, I think it kind of surges the power so the blinkers actually blink instead of just staying on like a light switch. And you can see here, I found this old wiring diagram and I believe it's correct for my model. So what I did here, this is the only fuse I actually have on the power wagon is I found this piece of wire with the inline fuse, cut it apart. And I'm gonna use this to go from the ammeter to the flasher and then from the flasher, I'm gonna run the two wires that go into the blinker and we'll see if it works here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to crimp our power source to the X terminal. So put that through there, use my crimper. And then I'm gonna take the blue wire, which is now red, cause I extended it. And I'm gonna put that on the P terminal on the flasher, which is this one. Finally, I'm gonna take my yellow wire, which is now orange and stick it on the L terminal of the flasher. So now we have everything connected to the flasher that should be. So if we, Go for left blinker. There we go. Actually, you can hear this clicking, but this doesn't actually make any noise. I need another bulb for the right side, so I just pulled it out of this old taillight here. It looks like it's still good, but we'll see. I gave it a little bit of a sand, so if it does work, it'll have a good connection. Fits. That needs to be addressed so this thing can be grounded better too. Alrighty, let's test it out. Right blinker on. Dun, 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 dun. There you go, it's working. 
for the hazards, I think you pull this thing out. Let's see, if it gets both of them. There we go. Got hazards from when we break down every other day. Are they blinking at the same time? Yep. Looks pretty good. There we go, that's with our hazards on. The flash pattern is a little bit fast, as you guys can see, but it's not horrible. It's definitely better than not having any blinkers. So, And then on the back side, they're red. So, looks pretty good. For the taillights, I was just looking at a couple images here, and you can see on some of the more like accurately restored Dodge Power Wagons, they put them on the back right side, so it's been on you know we all that's where i think i'm gonna put mine but else it's, it's it's longevity it's been there since 1946 it's been on right there you can see right here the remains of what used to be a taillight obviously that's not savable but i'm gonna see if i can bend this bracket out here instead of putting on a new one i don't think so i don't want to bend up the no Instead of trying to re-bend out this old bracket, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a new piece of steel here. Probably cut it right about there, and then cut it right about there, and then just stick the tail light on like that. For this being on a power wagon, these bolts are coming off way too easy. This tail light actually looks original because you can see the indicator lights, they're pretty much the exact same style, the exact same way the bulb goes in there. So I don't think, um, at least for the indicator lights, I don't think those came from the factory. I think that was kind of something you added on aftermarket or at the dealership. And maybe same thing with the tail lights, but those look pretty similar. I think that's a good height. Just kind of at the bottom of that hinge there. Looks pretty good. Alrighty, I got all my brackets drilled now and the bed drilled for it. So I'm gonna go ahead, using the world's biggest can of spray paint, and paint these brackets up here. Make them black to match the lights. This stuff comes out so unnecessarily fast. I already did the first side and I didn't even want to. I like did one squirt and it was done. Ready, watch. That's all it takes. And it's like way too wet. Like I just got it on the freaking concrete. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is take this ground wire and put it on one of the screws here to ground it. Cause instead of like trying to ground to the frame or the bed or anything, I'm just running a ground from the battery. And I do that for everything cause it's just way easier. With the six volt trying to actually get something to run through the frame is pretty difficult, especially with all the rust and paint and everything. So, and then we'll put our bracket here, which is still very wet. I don't think it's ever gonna dry because the spray paint clearly sucks. Get this on there. Earlier while I was allowing the paint on those horrible brackets to dry, I kind of twisted together some wire here and ran it underneath the frame. Probably can see, I don't have it like zip tied or any, any kind of mini wire protector yet. But I just have it running to the back here and then I'm just gonna twist it together cause I have to figure out how I'm gonna run. Right now it's just the turn indicators to these lights, but they're dual filament bulbs. So I'll have the brake, the running light and the turn indicator light all in one thing. So I have to figure out how that's all gonna work. So I'll just connect the wire here to I think the orange one is the brighter one because I want the turn indicator to be the brighter filament in the bulb. Because obviously there's like a dim light and then there's a f higher light. 
Okay. Let's go try the right side here. Front one's still working. Oh yeah. This one's on the brighter. Perfect. So the black wire coming out of the light is the brighter one. Okay, I turned off the garage lights so we can see all of them together. Pull the hazards. There we go. Still, I think they blink pretty fast, but I don't really know what I can do about that. It's adjustable. Just the one. There's the other one. Sweet. Okay, so that's pretty good progress for tonight. Tomorrow I have, so there's one wire left off this controller here. And according to the wire diagram, that should go to the stop switch, which is basically a little thing in the brake line. It's kind of hard to find, it's right there. And that detects like the hydraulic pressure increasing when you push on the brakes. So obviously we need that somehow to light up the lights in the back so your running lights get brighter. And then speaking of running lights, we need to run something from our light switch, which will also control the big lights on the front fender. So then those just have the dim light on when you pull the light switch. So we'll try to do some of that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to bed. Whew. That's too close for comfort. Ah. Good night. Welcome back to a new day. I know it's only been a couple seconds for you, but it's been a new day for me. Um, got some progress here. Off camera, I was just kind of fiddling around and there was just one wire that's set on the wiring diagram that goes to the stop switch. So I wired that in. You can see I put some little terminals on the stop lamp there. So now when I push in the brake and all those wires, you can see the brake lights. So last thing I'm gonna do here is run a wire from the light switch to just the running light. So the dim light on, the, on those will be off the light switch. The wires coming off the light switch here are a little bit of a rat's nest. So I'm just trying to pick one that looks to be about the right gauge. There we go. Just running it along the frame here with these other wires that already go to the taillights. And then just pulling it through some of the pieces to hold it up. My last step of wiring for now is I'm just gonna kinda tidy all this up put the ignition switch backwards, we put some of the gauge lights in and those work and just kind of tidy everything up here. Okay, so I think the power wagon was a little bit offended before when I kept calling it dead. And uh, I can show you now, after some wiring, we're truly, I, I think we're not even alive. We're thriving now, check this out. Ugh. Alrighty, first up on the 2021 lighting show, we can see this big knob we got right here. This is our running lights. This will be our headlights and our taillights. And we have the taillights all wired up. Let's check those out. Dun, 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 take a walk to the back. See that beautiful red glow already? Boom, tail lights. Next up, we got blinkers. Take a look, turn them right. Very nice. Same thing on the back there. 
Not only can we make right turns, but we also can make left turns. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful, and hazards. Check those out. Looks like a hazard to me. We also have brake lights. Let me show you. Braking, braking. You thought we were out of lights? We're not out of lights. This thing is thriving. Ready? You gotta see how fast you're going. Boom. You gotta check your fuel gauge. Right there. Beautiful. Alrighty, last but not least, I know this is not technically a light, but this is what I'm gonna be here when I'm breaking down in the middle of the road. Beautiful sounding all American. <laughs> horn it's definitely way too late to be doing that i think it's past midnight since it is midnight i want to say i probably should stop before the neighbors call the police on me um make sure to like and subscribe subscribe if you want to see more that's how i know if you guys actually like what i put out there and i'm just gonna keep doing it if you like it or not because i like editing the videos making the videos and i like to see especially you guys' comments and tips. They're very helpful. Otherwise, I really would not have any idea what I'm doing. I have like a 50% chance I know what I'm doing half the time. So like 25% chance. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>